everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm excited that you're here. So today is a big day for us. We have our Civil War football game coming happening tonight with the Oregon Ducks playing the Oregon State Beavers. It's a big game for us. Hubby and I are excited. I was gonna go to the game, but I decided to stay home, watch it with him, and just relax. It's gonna be cold tonight, it's a later game, and I just was not <laughs> feeling it. So we're gonna make some delicious snacks using our leftover Thanksgiving food with um, some recipes that I'm coming up as we, as we just put these together. It's just what we've got, trying to not go buy anything, trying to just use what we have on hand. So that's what we're doing. So we've got some delicious stuff on the menu. We've got some leftover mashed potatoes from yesterday. So we're gonna make some potato croquettes. We've got, um, I had a pack of slider buns in my freezer. So I pulled those out. We've got some leftover turkey. I have some leftover homemade cranberry sauce from yesterday. Um, I had some Gouda cheese in the fridge. I had a pack, a container of chive and onion cream cheese. And so we're gonna make some delicious tri uh, turkey sliders. We're gonna make the potato croquettes. Um, we're gonna see what else we have around here that is leftover. We have some stuffing we need to use up. So we may do something with those as well. So let's just get in the kitchen and have some fun and let's make some delicious leftover Thanksgiving stuff. All right, friends, we're gonna start the cranberries first. It's gonna go on our sliders. Like I said, I have some leftover cranberry sauce. So we're just gonna put that right in our pot. We're gonna reheat this with some jalapeno. I diced up one jalapeno. I left the ribs and seeds in it because um, I think with all the other flavors that are going to be on this, I think we're going to be fine with the heat. I don't think it's going to be that bad. So we're just going to add this diced up jalapeno right into that cranberry sauce. I did make a jalapeno cranberry sauce, um, another Thanksgiving video, and I will put that in the description box for you guys as well so you can check out that recipe. But this is just my cranberry sauce I made yesterday. Just a really simple um, triple cranberry sauce that I added some fresh orange to it. And um, so we're just gonna go put this on the stove and let this heat up. Don't want it too high heat. All right, so for our sliders, I went ahead and cut them. They weren't cutting very well, but we got them cut. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna deal with it. I think we're going to put a layer of chive and onion cream cheese on the bottom. I need a barrier um, for the other things that are going to go on here. And how bad can chive and onion cream cheese and turkey be? So we're just going to spread not a huge layer, not anything really super thick, but I definitely want to have a little bit of the cream cheese in each bite. To me, when you're having a slider, if you don't have a little bit of everything in each bite you're missing you're missing the point we've got to have all those flavors together i love this chive and onion cream cheese it's my absolute favorite i put it in my mashed potatoes it's actually in those potatoes i just showed you because that's what i always put in my mashed potatoes i'm excited to try these just some different football food instead of, you know, chips and all that kind of stuff. This is going to be something completely different. And what a better way to use up our leftover Thanksgiving ingredients. All right, I think that's plenty. Like I said, we don't need to do a whole bunch. We just need a thin layer. Let's go ahead and put these back in our casserole dish. We're gonna get our turkey. The turkey's gonna be the next layer. Our leftover turkey. I didn't cook a huge bird yesterday because it was not a very big group of us. And um, two of the people that were there yesterday are vegetarians, so they weren't gonna eat the turkey. And so I just did a small turkey. I think we're gonna do a little bit of thigh meat because I don't have a ton of white meat left over. So we're just gonna go ahead and slice this slice it pretty thin so we'll have a mixture of white and dark meat on these sliders which is going to be amazing I seasoned my turkey really simply yesterday um, it just has the Kinder's uh, poultry seasoning I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before but this is it right here this is what I used on my turkey 
So just a really simple um, flavor profile. I didn't want to do anything, um, you know, really different because I knew I was going to use the leftovers today for something and I really didn't want to have to compete with um, another flavor. So we're just going to go ahead and get our turkey cut up. Let's see how much turkey we've got. Like I said, I don't want to go super, super heavy with this because I don't want these to just fall apart when you try to bite into it. That's what happens sometimes if you overload your sliders, you go to bite into it and there's just so much stuff inside that it just falls apart and I don't want that. Hubby is not <clears throat> real big into real messy food, so I actually think this is going to be plenty of turkey. I'm excited to try these. I think we will melt a little bit of butter and we'll brush the top of our buns with a little bit of butter before they go in the oven. We're probably gonna bake these covered because I want everything inside to get hot and I don't want my um, my buns, that's what I'm trying to <laughs> I want the buns to burn. All right, so here is our cranberries with our jalapeno in it. We're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit like I said, I don't want to make these super gloopy, so I'm not going to go really, really heavy with the cranberry, but I do want there to be a little bit of cranberry in every bite. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. Everyone needs a helping hand. We've got our Gouda cheese. We're going to go ahead and put a layer of Gouda on top. This will be our our glue that'll hold our top buns on top. All right, let's see how much Gouda we get on here. These are, I think these are gonna be super tasty. All right, looks like we're gonna get about six pieces, which is perfect. Leaves a couple pieces for snacking later. All right, we're gonna put our top bun, or put our buns back on top, just like that. Those are gonna look amazing, friends. All right, let's melt a little bit of butter. We don't need a lot, so we're just gonna do a small, small little sliver. I think we're gonna put a little bit of this buttery garlic salt and let's do some parsley. <clears throat> that didn't take long. All right, here's our butter. Let's put a little bit of parsley in here. I love to see those little green flecks up on top. Put a little bit of our buttery garlic salt in here. This is another Kinder's product. Um, I, I actually, I love the Kinder's stuff. Okay. Let's get our brush. This is gonna keep those rolls nice and tender and soft and moist. We'll probably save, I'm gonna save a little bit of this to do on the top when it comes out, just for one final <clears throat> coat. We're going to bake these at 350 for about 20 minutes. All right, we're going to put, I don't think we're going to use all these mashed potatoes. We're going to use about half. I'll make some potato cakes or potato rolls or something like that with the rest of them. But we're just going to do half of this bag of leftover potatoes. Let's go ahead and put in a little bit of parsley. I think we'll put in a little bit of our butter garlic salt. Oh, 
think we'll put in a little bit of cream cheese just to give us a little bit more of a binder. And whoops. Okay, well, I guess we've got the rest of it in here. <laughs> It'll be fine. All right, let's mash that. Celebrate each other, send united as one. We lift our hands up and pray, lay all our love before Him with all of our faith. That's probably good. I don't want to get him too cheesy. We're going to put one egg in here mix this up <clears throat> and then we're going to get our dredging station ready to go these have got to chill in the refrigerator for it says about an hour the longer you can leave them in there the easier they're going to be to fry and we might need to add the rest of those potatoes because this looks pretty loose so let me grab the rest of the potatoes we need this to be a little bit stiffer or they're not gonna hold together. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the rest of our mashed potatoes in here. Just so we can have it be the right consistency. Yeah, I think that's gonna help get the rest of these in here. All right, so we, let's get our dredging station ready to go. We've got Get us some room to work. All right, so we've got our three pans here that we're gonna use as our dredging. We're gonna go ahead and put three eggs in one of these. I think we need to do this this way because we need flour in this one. We need breadcrumbs in this one. I'm just using a garlic and herb breadcrumb. Add flavor wherever we can. It says to add salt and pepper to your flour. So we're going to use our buttery garlic salt. As I said, we're trying to get as much flavor as we possibly can into every part of this. Let's just stir up our flour first and then we'll get our eggs whisked, get those blended. I'm excited to be using the leftovers and doing something different because we always just do like hot turkey sandwiches or we'll do just leftover turkey mashed potatoes and gravy <laughs> the next day and I'm excited to do something completely different that's going to be fun. make sure I get the eggs all blended together. I don't want any white. I've got my dredging station. I've got my potatoes ready to go. I've got a sheet pan ready to put them on as soon as we get them scooped. So let's see how this works. Roll it in some flour. We want to keep one hand dry for the breadcrumbs. And I just ruined that. I just put my wet hand into the breadcrumbs, but it's all right. 
All right, so it says to do this twice. Um, it says that it gives you a much better crunch, which I'm all about the crunch. And I can definitely see why you need to refrigerate these because they are definitely soft, but we can use our hands now to kind of form them. And we're just gonna keep scooping. We've got 12 of our croquettes. These are gonna go in the refrigerator for about an hour, hour and a half until they're nice and chilled, nice and firm, and we'll get the oil heated up, we'll get them fried. These are gonna be delicious. All right, the last recipe we're gonna make is with our leftover cornbread stuffing. If you have not seen this video, I'll leave a link in the description. This is my mother-in-law's recipe for cornbread dressing. We lost her in 2003 after a five-year battle with colon cancer, and this has always been on our table every single year. We have to have her cornbread dressing. I'm excited to do something different with this dressing today and surprise my husband for a little football treat. So let's get this made. We're gonna make some corn, cornbread. <laughs> well, it is cornbread. We're gonna make some stuffing muffins. These are kind of with a Southwest twist. I took a recipe that I found on Pinterest. I'm changing it up just a little bit to give it a little bit of a Southwest twist because that's what my husband loves is things that are spicy, things that have corn in them. He just is a big fan of that stuff. So let's get these made. They're super easy, super quick. So let's get them in the oven. So for my twist on these stuffing muffins, we're gonna take two cups. It says two cups of leftover dressing. I'm gonna break this up a little bit. This is definitely a different dressing. It's not, um, you know, like your traditional uh, regular stuffing that you eat. This is a little bit gummier, a little bit wetter, wetter but I think it's gonna be fine because we're gonna mix in some delicious things in it. All right, I think that's about two cups. I think we're good right there. All right, so I need, what I'm doing with this, it did not call for jalapeno. I'm putting jalapeno in it. It did not call for corn, but I'm gonna put corn in it. We are gonna put pe pepper jack cheese. It did say you could use whatever kind of shredded cheese you want. So we're gonna use pepper jack and we need one egg. So let's get our egg in here. We're gonna go ahead and mince up one jalapeno. We're gonna leave the seeds and everything. I'm gonna get my chopper out. I don't want big pieces of jalapeno in these muffins. Funny, every time my dogs hear this chopper, they come running. They think I'm getting something for them. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put in our jalapenos. A little bit of pepper jack cheese to mix in and I think I'm gonna put it on the fine shred on this side because I don't want big shreds it's gonna be harder to mix in I think so we're gonna keep it on the smaller side I'm excited to try all these recipes I think they're all gonna be super fun um, a super fun way to try some different things that you have left over from Thanksgiving It doesn't say how much cheese. That is one thing that I was a little confused about. The recipe doesn't say, so we're just gonna go with whatever. So this dressing is a mix of uh, buttermilk biscuits, cornbread, and um, celery and onions, and then it's got your poultry seasoning and stuff in it. So let's go ahead and put in our cheese. The recipe did not give measurements for the vegetables either. It just says whatever Leftover veggies you have. Um, we had green bean casserole for Thanksgiving and I don't wanna put that in. So I'm just gonna use a couple handfuls of frozen corn. I think that should be good. 
I thought the corn would go really well in this because this dressing has cornbread in it. So I thought this would be a good compliment here. Let's try to get this mixed up. Probably need a bigger bowl. But I think we can make it work. Do you ever do that in the kitchen? You start to make something and you realize I should have had a bigger bowl out <laughs> for this. So we're just going to use our spoon to kind of break up this dressing a little bit. So we can get everything incorporated. I might actually need to put another egg in this because my dressing is more compacted than a regular stuffing but I don't know we'll see let's, let's see if we can get our dressing broke up a little bit more Let's get this other egg mixed in. Yeah, I think that's what this needed because my dressing, like I said, was not your traditional dressing. Mine has um, is more compact, so mine needed that extra egg. So keep that in mind, friends, if you make this, that whatever kind of dressing you're doing, if you're using regular, and I think I'm gonna get a fork because I wanna be able to get this all mixed really well. I think the fork is going to help me break up. Yep, that's what we needed. That's going to help get the clumps of dressing broke up. Some avocado oil just so they don't stick. I think we're just going to put spoonfuls right in our muffin tin. And then we'll go back and adjust if we need to. Looks like we did get about 12 out of this batch of stuffing, which is nice. So we're gonna let them bake for about 20 to 25 minutes and we'll bring you back when they're done. Right, friends, here are our yeah, stuffing muffins that we just made. These maybe maybe these with our leftover cornbread stuffing, some corn and some cheese. These look amazing. I think I'm going to Maybe run one of these out to hubby and let him taste it, see what he thinks. I should be waiting a few little crumbs right here. I'm gonna taste these little crumbs. Oh mm, my gosh, friends. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh, wow. Hubby's gonna be excited about that. And there it is, friends. All right, we're gonna get our sliders in the oven. We're gonna get our potato croquettes fried up and we're gonna have a delicious feast to watch our football game. All right, friends, we've got our oil heated to 350. We're gonna go ahead and start dropping some of these in the water or in the oil. We've got these ready to go. So we're just gonna do a couple at a time. Here. 
we've got our plate with our paper towel on it ready to go. We want these to be nice and crunchy. golden brown those are getting. They're going to be so amazing. We've got our sliders in the oven. We're reheating our stuffing muffins. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this batch out. They are nice and golden brown. I'm going to drop the next six in. We've only got 12, so we're only going to do two batches. like that the last six are in we'll come back when these are done all right friends here is our thanksgiving leftover recipes we did this is our turkey and spicy cranberry sliders we did our um stuffing muffins and then we did our potato croquettes just a minute ago everything is ready we're gonna sit down and eat this we're gonna watch the football game i want to thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen today as we made a delicious bunch of recipes using leftover thanksgiving food uh, no sense in eating the same thing all the time and no sense in just heating up turkey and eating it on a plate. <laughs> Make something tasty with it. Use all the stuff that you get in a different way and kind of give you a different view on what you made for Thanksgiving, but have a different recipe. I'm excited to try all of these. I will let you guys know in the comments how these are. They smell amazing and I can't wait to eat them. If you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Give this video a like because that really helps my channel out a whole lot. That lets YouTube know that you want to see my content and what we're sharing on my channel. It means so much to me that you guys would take time out of your day on Black Friday to come and spend time with me and see what I'm cooking in my kitchen. I hope you guys will try these recipes. If you do, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have fun Thanksgiving leftover recipes, share them in the comments because I think I'd I would love to try them. I'm sure other people would like to see them too. So let us know what you guys are fixing the day after Thanksgiving easy stuff, whatever it is that you're cooking, cook and let us know. So we'll see you guys in the comments. Have a great day, friends, and God bless. So let's come together.